All right, so I've got a small update that will be added to Proppy OS. This should be 5.7 once Frederick does the, uh, the update. Um, so I've added a new define for force push, and it's going to be uh, FET263 force push length. Um, and what it is is it just um, allows you to adjust the length that you have, to, the length of time you have to do the movement for force push. Um, so by default it'll be 5. Your range is going to be 1 to 10. If you want to make force push easier, meaning you have to do a shorter movement, you're going to lower that number. Um, you can go from between 1, 2, 3, 4, um, but obviously if you have a lower number, it mean, the shorter movement also means you could have more force triggers. Um, but so with a force push, it's going to be a push forward, but you don't have to have your blade held like this. I typically show it this way. You can have your blade down and push. You can also pull it towards you. So it's just the movement with the hilt going this direction, so it's sliding instead of being angled. Um, but So the new uh, define will be upcoming, um, but I wanted to just let everybody know, for those of you who are having some trouble with force push, it does still take practice, because a lot of times you end up moving your angle around. Um, it needs to be oops, smooth and quick, like so, and it can be any direction, it's just that... Oops, like so. If you do it too hard, um, if you don't do it smooth, so if you have a hard start or a hard stop, you'll get clash, unfortunately, just because you're creating that inertia. Uh, but so there's going to be a new define. Um, again, the range will be between 1 and 10. Default is 5. Um, but if you want to shorten the length, which is for how long you have to do that movement to trigger force push, um, you'll just do the, force, the, the FET 263 force push length, and then you'll put a number between 1 and 10, uh, 1 being the shortest movement, 10 being really long. Um, 10 makes it a lot harder. Um, anything above 5, I found, just gets a little more uh, trickier to, to trigger. But for those who maybe, if your hilt is giving you too many false triggers, um, raise that number. Um, but for the most part, people are probably going to stay at 5 or go a little bit lower. Um, but um, I wouldn't go below. Um, 1 is going to be super sensitive. So one, if you put 1 in and you see you're getting force triggers on everything, on any movement, I would definitely change that. Um, but two, three work really easily. Um, but uh, you know, you're going to want to test that stuff out. But so there's going to be a new defined five, OS 5.7 when it releases um, that you can now uh, customize the actual length um, for how long you have to do that force push to trigger it. Um, so um, also, uh, while I have everybody here, um, SA22C did do his first version of uh, the one button, two button prop file. Um, with battle mode in it. Um, his defines are going to be similar, but they're, they're, you're going to use the SA22C version. Um, just read through the top of his prop file. Um, it's not, that should be coming in the OS, I believe. I think he said he's looking to get it merged. If not, if you go to the open source group or the Profi Board support group on Facebook, there's a post in there if you look for SA22C. Um, just read the top of the prop file for all the, new, the defines that are specific to his file. Um, as well as the unique controls, because he does have different controls available. Um, but uh, so force push length will be coming um, in the next update, um, and then the SA22C one button uh, or two button um, version is also now available. But that one you'll have to download the prop file, put it in your OS, and then do the include plus all of his unique defines. Um, but so a lot more stuff for battle mode force push in particular. Um, and then also just force push, you, you can do it in any direction. I've had a few questions about that. You can have your blade even parallel to the ground. If you move it uh, up or down in that direction, it will still trigger it. So it's, it's just having the hilt move smoothly in one direction or the other. It's not always, you don't have to have it pointing up to trigger it. Um, so that's just something uh, I wanted to let everybody know. Um, but the new define will give you the option to make force push a little easier to trigger. Um, but just play with it to get that. You know, you don't want it to be so easy that it triggers all the time. Um, but um, just, uh, you know, wanted to let everybody know. Hopefully everybody's enjoying and uh, more to come.